Hey guys, I just wanted to say um, that this is in no way my return to the channel. And if that's the only thing that you were worried about, then I'm sorry. You can dislike this video. You can stop watching now. Um, but if you were concerned, I have so many ideas, it would, it would honestly scare you. I always try to stay positive, which should be a good thing, right? But as a self-reflective person, it can lead to an incredible shift in how you approach life, especially when something isn't going the way you want it to. I'd like to introduce you guys to the downward spiral. I don't exactly know what the source of it was, but I have an idea. I'd always been the person that's, you know, looked over the notes for so-and-so like 15 times and maybe not gotten 100% on every test, but pretty much had straight A's in every class. Now, Obviously, the difficulty of school increases as you get older, but something a lot of people don't really know or take into consideration is that person's inner life. You can still go out with whoever and still excel in your classes. That's just up to how you handle your work-life balance. And where do you handle your work-life balance and your social life? your inner life. Your mindset plays such an important part in your life. I can't explain how many times I've saved myself, how many times you've probably saved yourself from failing this because you had a sudden burst of proactivity and got something done with incredible efficiency. And like most, I try to have a growth mindset where there's always some aspect in your life to improve on. This is a good stable relationship with your inner and outer life and honestly nothing changed in my outer life. Maybe I got some new friends, lost some old ones, but that wouldn't explain why I became so incredibly unproductive. So what was it? What leads most children to succeed early in their lives is if they take every task they have and make it a priority for them to complete. Whether it be painting or, or science or music, kids can generally grasp the concept of something simple and give at least one or two attempts at it before deciding they don't like it. But they also don't dwell on things for too long. like. If they see something they like at a store and you don't buy it, I mean, they're going to cry all the way home, but I bet you they'll stop once they see something else that catches their attention. Because most kids, most kids have a growth mindset. I mean, it's practically their job as kids to learn everything they can before they grow up. Because once you grow up, something that's equally as important than your responsibilities is that you discover your passion. And once you've found your passion, lots of dangerous things can happen. Which do you give your energy to today? Grinding out a YouTube video so your subscribers aren't commenting and, and concerned and worried about you not posting or, or that super long test for, you know, insert class <laughs> that you barely remember anything about and you definitely don't feel like taking or studying for. It creates the infamous chess game of life that everyone talks about so much. So, what exactly happened to me? Well, my passions are incredibly vast and require a lot of my energy, personally, to complete. 
For example, playing video games isn't necessarily a passion, but it is something I enjoy to do in my pastime. However, I mean, filming me playing a video game is a passion. Filming Reapers and, you know, whatever other shows to come is a passion. Building theme parks and Minecraft is a passion. Making Five Nights at Freddy's tutorials isn't necessarily fun, but, I mean, being able to play the games at the end, that's a passion. I used to be on Roblox and, um, like, those fighter games, like Injustice 2, uh, Spider-Man. I had to give up on those games because they weren't getting me any views, but those were passions. Creating music in GarageBand, writing books, which, I mean, you guys didn't even really know much about. Those are all passions. These are things I love to do, but they all take so long to complete. I mean, aside from maybe a, a song in GarageBand, but it's not something I can just do in a day or definitely not balance on top of school, so. I mean, coming home every day, thinking about the millions of things I could do that day, I mean, it just, it made me not want to do anything at all. And for some time I could just say, oh, well, I'll just push through it, but now I can't seem to get myself to do pretty much just about anything, anything in life really. I, I had this huge schedule I made for myself where I actually got my morning routine from and I'd come home and have different associated hours for this sort of thing and that didn't work at all. It wouldn't matter what I put on that schedule if I came home undetermined to complete it. I'd just sit I mean, on my bed and just reflect on life because I'd much rather do that than do homework or, or study or something. That's, that's what created the downward spiral. So. Is there a happy ending to this story? Well, considering the fact that I'm currently in it, I can tell you I have hopes. Not high hopes, but hopes, because this end of the year in school has somehow managed to be tougher in two weeks than the last week of third quarter, which, you know, <laughs> you know what they be trying to do to y'all in the last week of third, so I'm literally starting from ground zero in most of my classes and I'll have to build up to what I need to get by the end of the year. I'm, I've been planning on creating some good study planners so I've been trying to set all of my focus pretty much on school. Now is this the main cause of my absence from YouTube? No. Originally for the first few weeks of my absence I uh, Basically, I just wanted to do something with Reapers, but I couldn't get myself to achieve the right voice for Lily Gardner. We're still working on that. And I can't film until after I finish the voice lines. Uh, it has to do with my iPad storage. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It, I guess it would be good if I had like a, a better hard drive or something, one that's not just extended storage to my PlayStation, one that I can specifically keep for my videos, but, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, plus my computer's broken, so I can't access that. That's why you guys haven't seen any Planet Coaster videos or saw any merchandise on the store, which I would definitely add. I mean, I don't want to give you guys the wrong picture. I'm in no way trying to make my life sound like it's doom, or doom and gloom. Um, I'm very thankful for everything that God has provided me with, an amazing life full of wonderful friends and lovely family. And I mean, he's gifted me with all of these wonderful and creative interests. I just couldn't seem to get myself together. They always say take baby steps. And they aren't lying. Well, 
I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my explanation for, I guess, my biggest absence on the channel. No, I didn't forget about you guys, and I definitely care about what my viewers are getting. I'd rather not let you guys all down by posting a video about me lying and pretending that nothing's wrong and continuing to push myself over the cliff that I was earlier. And right now, I'm, I'm pretty much, I mean, I'm already, I'm already there. I mean, just not on the ground, but I'm definitely, definitely not before the edge. I'm definitely, like, on the tipping point. Regarding my return to YouTube, I really couldn't say, guys. My main focus was, of course, to um, continue my trying to be professional Fortnite show, Reapers. But, you know, now that Unreal Editor for Creative 2.0 is out on PC only, I'm sure someone else will make a show or movie before I can even think about posting this video. And it was supposed to come out last Halloween, actually, so I guess I'm going to reschedule it for this Halloween. But we'll see how that goes. So definitely please stick around, guys. Please stay tuned, and hopefully we can turn this train around together. I hope you guys are all doing well in your personal lives, and make sure to check in on yourself. Ask yourself if you're all right. Ask yourself if you're happy. Ask yourself if you're stressed, because your mental health, I know you hear it all the time, but it is definitely the most important thing in your life. You will not be able to live properly if you are not in the right mindset. Sometimes your mindset has to be fighting negative mindsets, even if it's, it's just that. That's amazing. Because now even though you feel bad, you're fighting your negativity through to the end. So again, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you stay well. And I guess I'll see you all a little later on this uh, this bittersweet note. I don't know, I just really want to say it. This was Reaper Plays.